What's going on guys, Big Time 110 here. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a ROM called Wave OS 4.1 for the Poco X3 NFC. It's based on Android 11, and this is one of those ROMs that is new to me, but probably not to you. So without further ado, let's get into it guys. Right off the bat, we can see that double tap to wake is working great here. There it is. Now, the ROM is really good, nice and fluid. No issues whatsoever here. Uh, I love that it includes the Google Now feed on the left. You know, that's one of my favorite things. As you can see, very nice and fluid. Let's see if the 120 Hertz and the 120 frames per second are working. And as you can see, it's working. I just have a little stutter warning because I have multiple pages open on the, on the browser, but trust me, it works. All right, moving on. If we go to the default apps, you can see that the ROM comes with an own launcher, which is called Wave OS Launcher. Now, this launcher is pretty good too. I mean, it's kind of like a pixel launcher, so very similar to that. And also, the ROM comes with its own camera here. It's pre-installed. It's uh, one of those Go Edition cameras, so pretty much similar to what you would find with the G Cam. But for me, it was good enough. But you be the judge of it, you know. Now, as you can see, we have the quick settings here. We do have a lot of useful tiles here, like the screen recording app, screencast. We got your flashlight and we have so many things that I know you guys are gonna find useful. Even the refresh right there. You can just click on that button and change it. You got the nearby share, etc. etc. Now if we move on to Wi-Fi, network and internet here, we can see under network that we do have Wi-Fi calling here. Now you gotta turn it on to make sure it's working. And it's indeed working because for me, without it, it's a pain. So I need to have that working all the time. So it's good to see that it's in here too. Now, if you go to connected devices here, Bluetooth seems to work really great. I have no issues whatsoever. Under the display, we have your brightness level, your night light, you know, the usual, the wallpaper your screen timeout and you can choose whatever time you want. You can even choose your colors from natural, boosted, or adaptive. You also have your status bar here where you can turn on and even turn it on off some of the icons you don't like. You also have your battery icon style here so you could choose whether you want a bar or a circle or just hide it and turn on the battery percentage if you like now we have dark theme device specific settings here now this is where we go to adjust our, our refresh rate so you can see it's at 60 90 120 i always leave it at 120 so you could even have the option to automatically lower the refresh rate. The battery saver is active. You could even hide the cutout. And at the very bottom, we have the ambient display. So here you can turn that on. All right, if you go to uh, customization here, we do have the accent colors and these are your options. We have quite a few guys, so choose whatever catches your eye. And under the headline body font, we only get these four options. And then you get your icon shape and your icon pack. If we go to sound, nothing really changes here, guys. You know, I'm just kind of surprised that we still have the me sound enhancer and the clear speaker options i always see those if we go to security we see that we are a little late on the security patch but it's not a biggie i'm the one that's late but we do have the screen lock fingerprint face unlock and the smart lock 
and the battery, as you can see, I haven't used the phone that much today, but trust me, this battery will last you all day. Like, I mean, it's not the best battery, guys, but it will last you all day. I usually get home with like, you know, at the end of the day, but like 20% still. And as you can see under storage, we have the internal and the SD card working here, so. If we go to system here, we can see that we have more options like gestures. We have your system navigation gestures. We have the two button navigation and we have the three button navigation for those who prefer the old school style, you know. Now, one of my favorite features is power menu. Now, if you go to power menu, you can see you can have your card and passes on. You can have your device controls. You know, you could have the advanced restart and everything. But let me show you how that works. So when you hold power, as you can see, you have your debit card on deck. And right below that, you'll have all the, the devices that you control in your house, like my thermostat, my TV, Stadia, whatever. Now if we press restart, you get three options. You get a system restart. You can go straight to recovery, or you can just simply go straight to the bootloader, you choose. And that is why that option is one of my favorites. Now we also have the quick torch. Whenever the screen is off, you just long press the power button and boom, flashlight on. Now we do get the playback control on the bottom, so. Now this is interesting to me, guys. All these ROMs come with a thermal profile and game mode. So at first I, I didn't know exactly what it was for, but now I kind of get the hang of it. I think what it is, is you know you could designate any app individually and the and you could set it to whatever as you can see these are the options here like you put benchmark camera dialer or gaming so for this game i would obviously put gaming right so the the phone would know that it's a game and it would allocate the resources and maybe even i don't know overclock a little bit just to make sure that my game doesn't get interrupted or the performance is you know doesn't decrease so i think it's cool because you could just you know set your games and just flag them as gaming and uh you should be okay so that's something that i like and as you can see guys we are running android 11 the latest of the latest Although a little late on the security patch, but it's okay. Now, here's some some benchmarks that I ran on this ROM so you, for you guys to see. Now guys, before we end up the benchmarks, I gotta say, this ROM is really good. Would I recommend this ROM to you guys? Hell yeah, I would. This ROM so far for me has been my daily ROM for a while now. Now, if you want battery life, I think you might want to look at the Pixel Extended. That ROM, I cannot kill. Like, I don't know what magic they're doing over there, but trust me, that ROM is also good. But let's get back to the topic here at hand, which is the Wave OS 4.1. And this ROM here has enough customizability for you guys to enjoy the ROM. It's performing is good. And honestly, I like the fact that I don't have to install Magis to be able to use my Google Pay. I'm able to use Google Pay without it. So again, I would really recommend you guys to try out this ROM, see how you like it. And uh, yeah, guys, you know, let me know what you think. So guys, with that being said, I hope you guys had a great week, great month, great year so far. And uh, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.